Welcome back to Both Sides with Stephen Tyler, partnered with the unsilenced voices of CMSD. I'm your lovely host, Stephen Tyler, and we have with me today a returning guest, Mr. Cone from Campus International High School, a history teacher. And not only that, we also have students who are part of Civics 2.0 from Campus International High School. Please introduce yourselves. Tell us your names, what school you go to, what state to school, and what grade you're in as well. Um, I'm Vivian Cox, and I'm a senior at Campus International High School. Did that audio come through right? A little bit? Okay. Um, I'm Jonah Schwab. I'm also a senior at Campus International High School. I'm Nathaniel Cron. Um, I'm a sophomore at Kim's International. Yes, we all attend good old Campus International High School. Um, and they're a part of the Civics 2.0 project, which is at Campus International High School. As we talked about already, it's this big thing with things, CMSD, and it's with students. And they all have an advisor. And we have with us, like I said, their advisor, Mr. Cone. Mr. Cone, what led you to want to do this? What made you want to be a part of Civics? What made you want to be the advisor for Civics 2.0? for Campus International High School. Yeah, hey, Stephen. Uh, yeah, I'm Sam Cohn. Um, I'm a social studies teacher and I'm in 24th grade. So that's cool. <laughs> um, why did I wanna do civics? It's something that I already kind of did with the students and I thought it was really cool that it was formalized. Um, I think a big part of social studies and history teaching that I think is really important is we're not just learning things to show off or to make people feel like you're smarter than them. But I think the whole point about learning about the past is so that it can inform what you do in the future. So that's what the, you know, that's what the job is supposed to be about. And I think civics is a way to put that into action um, in the school environment. Yes, um, I think civics is a great opportunity for um, the young people to get involved within the school, get involved within the community and learn a few things. And I've actually enjoyed um, doing different interviews and I've enjoyed working with people with civics 2.0. And it's just an all around great experience. I agree. And it's a great teaching moment for um, young people. Um, so what led you, the youth, what led y'all to want to join Civics 2.0? Anyone could start. It doesn't matter who goes first. <laughs> um, I joined it for a number of reasons. One of them was definitely the fact that um, it meets after school. Like, it's a fun club to join. Um, it's a good resume builder. You know, you get to hang out with your peers as well. And then also um, there is a pay aspect of joining which is great as well I think that motivates a lot of people to actually show up put in the work because you know regular school you're doing it just so you pass but for this it's like well you're doing it to have fun with your friends and also you're getting some money for it too so that's probably why I joined up um personally um I just I heard the concept of of the the group at school and I thought it sounded like a really great opportunity, you know, just to um, encourage uh, people to, to get into voting, to actually go out and vote. I think it's a very prevalent issue in, in the country, but also a, a, a local issue as well. And I just, it seemed like a great opportunity to help out and uh, do some good for uh, uh, everyone. Yeah. Um, is my audio working? Okay, sorry. My yes. My video it's okay. not work when I need it to work. So sorry. Um, I really just joined civics because uh, my parents have, especially my mom, has, have always both been very adamant about, you know, going out to vote and being like a part of the government and being civics, civic people, I guess. Uh, so I thought if, since I'm not yet 18, it would be uh, a good way for me to help other people, you know, go out and, uh, and vote and, uh, just participate in their local government. 
Speaking of voting in local government, I know you all went out on election day um, for the mayor's race and different things like that um, in November. And you actually went to a voting location and you actually um, saw people vote. I don't know if any of you voted or not and things of that nature. So, oh, yes, Mr. Kong, did you vote? Yeah. How was your experience voting? It was great fun. I liked uh, filling in the bubbles and feeling like people listen to me because sometimes that doesn't happen. <laughs> yes. Um, for the young people as well, um, what was your experience at the polls? Um, did you like it? Did you not like it? Did you see good turnout? Did you not see so good turnout? Um, it doesn't matter once again who goes first, but just give us some feedback on what it was like. Um, so personally, um, I've I've been to the, the polls a couple of times with my with my parents and such. So it wasn't really anything new for me. Um, so I can't speak on that part. But I can say I think the turnout was um, a little a little disappointing. Um, it was nice. It was our first event, so I think it was it was it was um, satisfactory. But I really wanted some students to show up, and we didn't actually get any of that. We only had um, faculty. So. But I mean, overall, it was a it was a good experience, um, a good first event for the organization. I think. I thought it was a lot of fun. Oh, sorry. Go ahead, Nathaniel. Go ahead. Sorry. Okay. Um, I thought it was a lot of fun. We basically just stayed after school, and we the whole week before then we were handing out um, pamphlets and stickers to try to motivate people to come after school to vote with us. We didn't get any peer participation but we were able to get some teachers who hadn't voted yet. And we all walked over from the school, which as many of you probably know, is in downtown Cleveland. So we're fortunate to be by where we can cast the vote. And we all walked over. I thought it was really fun. That was probably my first time like actually going inside the polls. My family usually votes by mail. Um, and yeah, I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, yeah, I agree that um, the student turnout for our event was a little disappointing, but um, I did get a chance to talk to one of the uh, poll workers there. Um, and she was talking about how she volunteers like every year and she like, you know, she likes to see people coming in and, and participating in local government, especially young students. So she was like really excited about that. And um, I don't know, she kind of gave me a lot of confidence in, um, you know, voting in general. So I thought that was interesting. It was nice. What has been your favorite part about Civics 2.0 so far? Um, I, I think my favorite part has kind of just been getting to work with other kids my age, honestly, because like normally I'm not a very political person. Um, and I don't like consider myself a political person, but, um, you know, working with people my age and Mr. Cohn and just creating these events has been, um, really interesting for me. And it's allowed me to, you know, gain a better understanding of, politics and sort of the, the political world around me. So I think that's, uh, that's definitely my favorite part. Um, I've really enjoyed just going after school and hanging out with all my peers. I really like that. And I also like that we're planning events that will actually happen in the school. You know, we're not just like sitting around or learning something, but we're planning events for everyone, trying to get like our peer, I guess, participation. And so that's probably the thing I've most enjoyed. Yeah, I can't really say anything else. I think um, I just agree with both those things that they both said. I'd love to add that my favorite part has definitely been seeing the students try to think about how to make a project actually happen and how they can contribute and working that out in a democratic way, in a lowercase d democratic way, as opposed to it being an assignment or thinking about the guidelines or the rubric or anything like that. It's much more of like, what do we want to accomplish? Uh, what are our different skill sets? How can we get to it? How are we going to make sure it's relatable? And how are we going to get our message across? 
So that's super cool to, to see and really fun for me to sit back and kind of see them struggle and also get stuck and unstuck and, and go through the whole process. Yes, I've enjoyed um, what I've been doing with civics. It's been pretty good. Um, I have a, um, this, it's not a retreat. It's more like of a like convention seminar thing coming up in February that uh, we'll be doing. And that's like one of the biggest things that we have done this far uh, with my part of civics. And I think it will be really cool. It's a youth formal and we're going to be talking about a whole bunch of stuff and topics. And I just think it will be an amazing experience. But I think that Civics 2.0 overall is an amazing experience. It helps teachers connect better with their students. Their students connect better with the teachers outside of the classroom. You get to be involved in your local school community um, with you, these people, with people you might not work with before or ever thought you could work with. And it lets students see their teacher in a different light and teachers see students in different like um i like i would really would recommend this for anyone any school district is just a brilliant idea um mr cone uh last question <laughs> i promise uh, mr cone so overall um overall what has been your overall experience with civics 2.0 um would you recommend this would you not recommend this and why i you know, I think it's so, I mean, we, we kind of like started kind of late in the year and this has definitely been kind of a, a helter skelter year in a lot of ways. I think I love the idea of it. I just think that there could be some maybe better kind of, it's like we got the Legos without the instruction booklet, which is great, but sometimes it's nice to flip through and be able to see, oh, this is what it could look like. So I think a little bit more structure. I'm not sure how it's funded. I think it's really cool that this has been offered, but I'm not sure how it's funded or if the funding will continue. But I just, um, I, I love the idea of especially honoring students' time with some money and making it for, and, and creating it to, using that money to get some high value return, something that'll be a long-term experience because uh, otherwise uh, students have other obligations and it's hard for them to commit uh, to something extra in addition to all their academic and personal and maybe work responsibilities. So a couple of issues uh, to be worked out, but um, I hope it can be maybe fleshed out and maybe we can get really great feedback from the students this year and make it better for next year as well. I forgot to mention the money too about that. When they first brought up the money, I didn't believe them <laughs> because you now, of course, but then we actually got paid and I was like, oh, they for real. So I think that's a nice little touch in addition to it as well. But Does anybody um, want to share what they uh, spent their, their cash on now that you got your first stipend? Oh yeah. <laughs> um, I spent mine on my new phone here. <laughs> oh, I got it, nice. most of it for Christmas, but then I still had payments to pay, obviously. So I just used that to seal the deal. Yeah. The next one I'll probably be saving. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, I've just been kind of using mine as like a debit card. I, I don't really have a big purchase that I made. Um, but I know that Julio, who is not here right now, used his uh, to buy himself a switch. Um, nice. So, yeah, so that was a that was a big deal for him, I'm sure. I I haven't spent mine yet, but uh, yeah, I can confirm Julio is very excited about his his new switch. I spent my money. Uh, I've got paid twice. Um, since like the first time. So my first paycheck basically went to a microphone and a ring light. And then my second paycheck, I bought me some coats and food. <laughs> so yeah, and then I went on the cruise. So then the first one went towards that as well. So yeah, and the next one, I'm probably gonna end up saving somewhat, you know, spend half, save half, I don't know. 
but I think it's good. And we get paid. Uh, and like I said, I think we get paid four times. And then the fourth time is at the end of the school year, which I think is pretty good because if you're going to college, then you should I, you could possibly save it and help you out for college a little bit. Or if you don't go, if you're not going to college, maybe you just, I don't know, maybe you save it or maybe you try to go put a down payment on parking or something for yourself. But I just think it's a great idea and they're building this up for future. Um, is there any more questions or comments? If not, thank you all for listening and thank you all for coming on both sides with Steve and Connor. It truly has been amazing speaking to you. I hope you all can come again. Mr. Cone, you will be back really soon. <laughs> I can promise you that. Um, but thank you once again for listening. Be safe. Be good people. Stephen Tyler out. Peace. All righty, y'all. Thank y'all for coming. <laughs> thank you for having us. Yeah. No problem. Thank Mr. You. Cone, we have to have our conversation about 2000 politics um, throughout the 2000s. We have to have our conversation. The because past I've 20 been, years? Of yeah, politics? the past 20 years. Yeah, because I've been, that's kind of what my um, extended essay is on um, in um, senior seminar. So, yeah. Uh, Bush versus Gore. Let's go. <laughs> I got to do my, I, I've had to do lots of research and I found out a lot of stuff about Bush uh, and Gore that I didn't know about. I actually liked Gore before the research, but made me like him a little bit more. And I, I still don't understand what happened in 2004, how Bush got reelected. I think it was the effect of, you know, 9-11 and people were scared. But <clears throat> it, was the, it was the only time in the past 20 years Republicans won the popular vote. But anyway, yes, it well, was. <laughs> I'd, I'd love to I'd love to roll around in the muck with you uh, verbally, at least. And uh, <laughs> Civic Squad, thanks for thanks for coming by, taking some of your weekend. Really appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. It was really fun. It was cool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All righty. Well, hopefully I'll see y'all tomorrow. So yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. See y'all, Steven. Yeah. See y'all tomorrow. See you guys. All right. Bye. See you. Bye. Bye. Bye.